Hello, my storytime friends. Greetings from Japan. Do you know where Japan is? Japan is far away from here. If you're in New York, it's very far away. Maybe you can ask an adult to show you on a map or on a globe where Japan is. But I wanted to teach you how they say hello in Japanese. When people greet each other in Japan, they don't say hello. In Japanese, they say Kanichiwa. Can you say it? I'll say it nice and slowly. Ready? Kanichiwa. Kanichiwa. Say it again a little louder. Kanichiwa. Very good. Well, I just wanted to take a moment to tell you how people in other parts of the world say hello to each other. Now, I'd love to sing our hello song together. So if you're ready to join me, stand up on your feet because there's a little bit of dancing to do and just follow along with me, okay? Hello, hello, can you clap your hands? Hello, hello, can you clap your hands? Can you stretch your high? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hi everyone. Hello, hello. Can you stamp your feet? Hello, hello. Can you stamp your feet? Can you stretch your high? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you stamp your feet? Great job, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me for that hello song. That was a lot of fun. My name is Miss Pauline, and I will be bringing story time to you every Wednesday and Friday mornings at 11 a.m. I will post the video. However, you can join me whenever it's convenient for you. And Miss Joanne has told me so much about all of you, and I look forward to meeting everyone in person. But for now, let's enjoy our virtual story time. I'd like to introduce you to my friend. This is my book box. And if you can see, on my, I love my book box because on the outside, it has pictures of so many of my favorite books. I couldn't fit them all, but it has a few of my favorites. This one right here, Corduroy. I love reading Corduroy books. Do you? You do? How about Brown Bear, Brown Bear? That's another one of my favorite books. Let's see. Oh, and Bunny, My Honey. That's a great story. And another story I'll probably read to you someday, Dog's Colorful Day. There's so many good ones on here and you can look at it. But what's so great about my book box is that inside is our story for today. But not only is our story inside, this book box holds clues to our story. So we can try to figure out what story Miss Pauline is going to read today. Should we look inside for some clues? Yes? Okay, let's do it. You know what this is? This is, that's right, a hat. There must be a hat in our story today. Let's see what else is in here. What is this? Hmm. Oh, do you know what this is called? I know what this is. Oh, nice and cozy scarf to keep me warm. There must be a scarf in our story. What else is in our story today? What's this? Oh! Socks! Be you. Now they're clean. Oh, and they're nice and soft. I bet you these would keep your toes nice and warm outside on a cold day. So we have a hat, a scarf, and some warm socks. Hmm. What story could this be? Do you have any guesses? How about I look for another clue? We 
do have a lot of clues in here today. What are these called? That's right, gloves to put on your hands and keep your hands and fingers nice and warm and dry. Hmm, I wonder if this is a story about going outside in the cold. Oh, there's more. Would you like to see? Boots? Hmm, well, boots are good when you go outside in the snow or the rain to keep your feet dry and warm. So there must be boots in this story. But I still don't know what story we're going to read today. Oh, another clue. Don't know what this is. Ah, do you know what these are? Long johns, like long underwear. I remember when I was little, my mommy used to always tell me to put these on underneath my pants and my snowsuit to keep me extra, extra warm. Hmm. Is in here. Oh wait, I see something else. Oh, it's a frog. Hi, Froggy. Are you going to be in our story today? You are. Hmm. So our story has a hat and a scarf and some socks and boots and a froggy. But what story is it? I just don't know. Oh, you want me to look down there? Is it in there? Oh, our story is in here. Let me reach in. It's upside down, so you don't know what story it is. I know this story. Froggy gets dressed. Do you know this story? This is one of my favorites. All right, let me put our book box down here on the floor and Miss Pauline needs her glasses on to read the words. Oh, that's better. All right, how about we read Foggy Gets Dressed by Jonathan London, illustrated by Frank Remkowitz. Froggy Gets Dressed. If you look on the cover, Froggy is looking out the window. And what do you see out that window? No. And Froggy looks excited. He has a hat on his head, just like me. Oh, and a scarf around his neck, just like me. Let's read what Froggy does. Oh, it was cold. Froggy woke up and looked out the window. Snow, snow, he sang. I want to play in the snow. Look at all that snow out his window. He sure does look excited. Go back to sleep, Froggy, said his mother. Don't you know? Frogs are supposed to sleep all winter. Wake up when the snow melts. Mama doesn't look too happy. But Froggy doesn't look too happy either that she's telling him to go back to sleep. He wants to go out and play. No! No, cried Froggy. I'm awake! I'm awake! I want to go out and play in the snow. Look! He's jumping right out of bed. And I think Daddy Frog is happily snoring away. So, Froggy put on his socks, zoop. He pulled on his boots, zip. He put on his hat, zat. He tied on his scarf, zwit. And he tugged on his mittens, zum. And he flopped outside in the snow, flop, flop, flop. And if you look in the background, you can see there are other friends outside playing in the snow. What are they doing? 
It looks like one of them is rolling a big ball of snow. Maybe he's making a snowman. But Froggy looks very happy to be outside. <gasps> Froggy! Called his mother. What? Yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Well, Froggy looked down. <gasps> Oops! Cried Froggy. I forgot to put on my pants. Oh dear. He flopped back inside, flop, flop, flop. He tugged off his mittens and untied his scarf. He took off his hat, he pulled off his boots, he left his socks on, and he slipped on his pants. Zip! Then he pulled on his boots. Zip! And he pulled on his hat. Zap! He tied on his scarf, zwit, and he tugged on his mittens, zum, and he flopped back outside in the snow, flop, flop, flop. That snowball in the background's getting bigger, and now they seem to be rolling another one. I wonder if it is a snowman. What's on top of that big snowball? It looks like a red bird. Froggy, called his mother. What? yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. Oops, he cried. I forgot to put on my shirt. And your coat, added his mother. Oh, well, he has to have on his shirt and his coat or he's going to be cold. He flopped back inside. Flop, flop, flop. He tugged off his mittens. He untied his scarf. He took off his hat. He left his pants, his boots, and his socks on and buttoned up his shirt. Zut, zut, zut. Then he snapped on his coat. Snap. He put on his hat. Zap. He tied on his scarf. Zwit. And he flopped back. Oh, he tugged on his mittens, zoom, and he flopped back outside in the snow. Flop, flop, flop. Now is he all set to play outside in the snow? Hmm, let's see. <gasps> Froggy, called his mother. What? yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. He had on his mittens, he had on his scarf, he had on his coat, he had on his shirt, he had on his pants, he had on his boots, he had on his socks. He reached up, yup, he had his hat on. Well, what could be missing? Do you see anything missing there? Hmm. Let's find out what he is missing. Your underwear, his mother laughed. Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Why is Froggy red in the face and a little embarrassed? Is it because his mother called out, you forgot your underwear? And if you look in the back of this picture, the other animal friends are all giggling. They think that is hysterical. He forgot his underwear, so now Froggy has to go back inside. Let's find out what Froggy does. Ah. So he flopped back inside. Flop, flop, flop. He tugged off his mittens. He untied his scarf. He unsacked his coat. He unbuttoned his shirt and he unzipped his pants. He pulled off his boots. He tugged off his socks. He left his hat on and he slipped his long johns on with a zap of elastic. See him putting his long johns on? 
Oh, that was a lot of work. Then he put on one sock. Zoop. He pulled on one boot. Zoop. Tugged on one mitten. Zoom. And he started to tug on the other. And he let it drop. And he said, oh, I'm too tired. And he went back to sleep. And look at the trail of clothing he left. And now mommy can go back to sleep. I think she's happy again. That was a lot of work for Froggy. Oh, good night, Froggy. Can you say good night to Froggy? I think he's going to sleep for a little while longer. So thank you so much for joining me for today's story in the snow. I hope that you stay nice and cozy and warm. If you go outside to play and there's snow out there, make sure you wear your hat and your scarf. But don't forget, first to put on your long underwear so you don't have to take everything off again. Have fun. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you so much for joining me for story time today. I hope you had fun and enjoyed our story. Did you? I did too. Well, it is time to say goodbye, so if you'd like to join me, you can stand up. You can also do this one sitting down if you'd like, but reach up your arms and tickle the clouds, and tickle your toes. Turn around and tickle your nose. Reach down low, reach up high. Story time is over. Wave bye-bye. Bye, everyone. See you next story time. Thank you.